Hello, and welcome to my next unboxing video. Today, I'm gonna to unbox the Baccarat Curly Whirly Vegetable Spiralizer. My friend Alex bought this because he knew I was into spiraling vegetables. I'm gonna introduce him now. Alex, would you like to come in and- Hey Tim, how you going? Introduce yourself. So when did you buy the Spiralizer? Just yesterday. You bought it yesterday, and how much was it, and where did you get it from? It was $20 from Robin's Kitchen. Robin's Kitchen's $20. So we're going to compare this against like the Sumo Slicer. If you've watched my other videos, the Kmart Slicer and Dicer. But we're going to see how well this goes at spiralizing vegetables. Alex, I'll let you do the honors and unbox it. Because Thank it's you. your purchase. Quite heavy when you, um, when you hold it. There is a bit so of weight to it. Unex unexpected that the weight of this spiralizer. So we've got our box. The box. We've got our product in, in a plastic. plastic. And we've got a little card here. The so some instructions with it? Yeah, curly whirly vegetable spiralizer use and care instructions. Good. All right. Just having a look at it now. Just, so it looks like it just comes in uh, a bit of plastic and uh, it's quite a heavy, sort of well manufactured box there. Um, on the front, it's got some photos of what the vegetables should look like after we've done. All right, so, so it says here that we need to attach the vegetables onto a spiky spiky piece. Okay. Which must be in the other end of that. Looks like this unscrews and you get two ends. So this end's got two standard blades on it with two openings. And it looks like the other just has one. Has one opening. And it's got it's got some holes in the cylinders so you can see what you've got in there. And there's the spikes that you attach the vegetable to, obviously. Alright, so it says here, please note, for best result, cut the vegetables into five centimetre lengths. Ah, okay. Can be Good used for zucchini, cucumber, carrot, beetroot, turnips and sweet potato. Well, there you go. Which vegetable would you like to start on first? We've got zucchini, cucumber and carrot here today that we're going to try this with. Which let's, one? let's go with the carrot. Let's go with the carrot. All right. All right. So we, we've got a full length carrot here, but we have to cut it down to five centimetre slices as per the instructions. I'll let you do that. Beautiful. All right. So there's our end of the carrot. I assume we put that on the end with the spikes. So it's not going anywhere. That's it. It's on and there. And which end of the cylinder? We'll use the single. Let's do, let's do the single. single. All right. We're going to use the single right. side this time. So this single side has uh, another little serrated blade edge inside there. That oh, doesn't so you have think we should cut the end of that carrot off? Let's do that. I don't think that'll spiralize. That probably won't taste <laughs> good in your salad. No, we'll cut that in off. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. So I have to insert and twist clockwise until the screw reaches the bottom of the blade. Alright. Okay. So just applying a little bit of pressure to connect the two Would, sections is while this easily, is... easily, like a lot of pressure, or could anyone use this? I think anyone could, just anyone a little bit of pressure, use. definitely. So okay. we've got some coming through here. Just just while we're waiting for the two ends to meet, is, okay. I'm applying the pressure, I think. There we go. Very good, we're getting some nice spiral carrots there. All right, now that they've connected, I'm not. I'm hardly putting any no effort at in at yeah. all. No pressure, just twisting. So anyone of any age could use this spiralizer. That's important. Oh wow, they're really coming through, aren't they? They are. Look at and look at the spiral. Look at the length of that. Look how long it's getting. Jeez. Pop that in your bolognese. Not bad, but you're only getting two spirals here. We're that's getting, true. Down on the bench here, we've got a lot. All the other ones short just ones. keep falling off. Like, don't they? That's all short ones that just keep falling off. All but right. pull that out. Let's try the next vegetable. All right. We've got the zucchini here. We give that a go. I'll cut it into the five centimetre length for you. Got it ready to go. There you go. Can we use that? Thank you. Popping it spikes. The cucumber ready as well, but I'm going to get an extra short piece off because we need this for our gin later. So this is for um, zoodles. Zoodles? Oh, so noodles. what would you make with zoodles? I mean, just you, any substitute for, for spaghetti. <laughs> any yeah. substitute for spaghetti, yeah. there you go. I heard it's a lot healthier option if you're making spaghettis and want to cut out a few The no parts. carb option? Go the zoodles. Alright, so we've just had a few the, pieces just fall off onto the bench here. 
Uh, yep. Oh, here we go. So it makes a bit of a mess. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely put a bowl a or, a, or a plate or something <laughs> to catch all your uh, <laughs> product that's coming through. When you're using it um, in the kitchen, don't do what we did and not put anything down. Put a bowl in and spiral into the bowl to catch it all. But gee, that's doing a good job, isn't yeah. it, Alex? Just We're like giving a carrot. lot of length on it again, just like the carrot. We've, we do Perfect. have a lot of excess on the bench here as well. Perfect. If I go all the way to the end... The viewers often ask me, Alex, do you think it would be easy to clean? Like People don't want a, a utensil like this that's really hard to clean because no one ever uses it. What do you think, just from yeah. first impressions? I mean, at a glance, it looks like you would just need to mm. give it a good rinse. Just a good rinse. Um, hot water. Hot water, bit of soap. Bit of soap. Definitely be careful of them. Um, no, I'd definitely be careful. Of, the blades do stick up into the cylinder so piece. Don't fingers in definitely don't put And there's no warning on here about not putting I fingers in there. I've gone right at the bottom of the page. page. Wash and warm, so what, I'll let you get the cucumber Thank ready. Thank you. I might try our other attachment for this one. Okay. With the so wash and warm soapy water, rinse well with plain water after washing. Ensure metal blades are dry before storing. Take care when washing as blades are sharp, not for use by children. No age limit on the children, just no children. So would that be anyone under the age of 18? I would assume so, yeah. So if so you can drink, you, you can, can use you can zoodle. You can zoodle <laughs> your cucumbers. All right, so this is our other piece that has two, blade. two blades. Yep. Let's See go. what that produces, See what eh? it does. Oh, look at that. Yeah, right. So we've got a much th thicker spiral. Thicker spiral. Still quite... Um, it's doing a good job though. Yeah. It's all holding it's all together. Connected. Yeah. And it does say at the top here, perfect for making vegetable noodles. And I'll just note that at the start of this video, I asked Alex how much he paid for this, and he said it was twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Right? On the uh, price tag here, it says thirty nine ninety five. So Alex, you got it for fifty percent off. That's pretty good. You know, I tell a lie because my wife got it for fifty percent off. Oh, okay. Pay. But she thought this would be a great idea to review. Yeah. She thought the the general public might need to know about the yeah. half price baccarat vegetable so, swirly. Question for you, Alex: hmm. Would you pay full price? Look, forty dollars. If, if you can pick it up for half price at twenty dollars, it's okay. definitely worth your money. But at a full full ticket price of forty dollars, I it's getting up there. Isn't yeah, it? I'd probably Just give it a miss. I can't see myself give it a miss for forty investing in. Uh, Zoodles. In Zoodles. For long so for $20 it's good. So look, that's all the ingredients spiralized now. It's done a pretty good job. What would you rate it out of 10? Um, I mean, look, it was really easy to use. Easy to use. Uh, looks like it's, easy, think to it's easy to clean. Yeah. Um, it, it did what it said it was going to do, so um, probably a 7 or an 8 out of 10. 7 or an 8 out of 10. Base price, price wise, you still um, rate it 7 or an 8 out of 10 at $39.95. Not a full ticket, I'd probably give it a ticket. six. A six, for yeah. $40. I've, um, if you've watched my other videos, you'll see I've done other, the Sumo Slicer and the Kama uh, Multi Slicer. And the Sumo Slicer, I think, sits at about $40, and that's a much bigger contraption. It sticks to the bench. You can put all different um, pummels in there for that. and do different things. Mm. The $20 Kama one also came with a lot of different attachments to give it different functions. This one, one blade or two blade, $20, but it is small, compact, easy to store pretty small you can put it back in the box and store it anywhere i imagine and if you, you were if you were making zoodles for a whole family you're going to have to do a lot of five centimeter sections yeah just well, to get enough it. cutting it down to five centimeters all the time is going to be mm. really painful isn't it definitely if you're a, a professional cook or a chef you're not going to want to cut it all down you want something that's just can put the whole ingredient through in once don't exactly you? exactly exactly so look if you're in the market for this Know, and, and you haven't seen the sumo slicer around, you urgently need a spiralizer, it's probably worth a shot, only at half price. We don't recommend paying full price for it. But yeah, overall, I hope you've enjoyed the video. And please subscribe, tune in, and uh, watch my other spiralizing sumo slicer, dicer, and slicer videos. Thank you, Alex. Thanks for having me. No worries. Have a good one.